What's up everybody, I'm the Mangus. you are awesome, and Crunch has been added in default. I took him into PvE to test him out, see what's different, and possibly find some bugs. Let's start with what's different about Paragon Crunch and Fault Crunch. To start with, his passive now gives you the option to empower his abilities from the beginning of the game. This was a passive that was unlocked as part of his ultimate, Recrunch, in Paragon. I really like having the option to empower abilities prior to unlocking your ultimate. It always felt bad to me that you couldn't do your big fuck all uppercut for the first like 8 to 10 minutes of the game. The main part of his ultimate is the same. You can recast the last ability used and you also get the other passive with his ultimate which is lowered ability cooldowns on basic attacks. He also still has an indicator for what stage of empowerment you're in via the jet flames on his back. I have heard though that some people have experienced a bug with this where they had constant flames. I didn't get the visual bug but I did experience an audio bug where it it sounded like I was in constant first level empowerment. Left Crunch is still the same, you execute a big sweeping hook that deals pretty good damage, empowering the ability gives it 100% cleave damage. Right Crunch is a bit different though. In Paragon, the base Right Crunch was a quick uppercut to the body that slowed targets. In Fault, it gives you a very short duration stun. Empowered Right Crunch is the same, you perform a big ass uppercut that knocks people up and stuns them. Forward Crunch and Paragon would fire you forward, stopping one and dealing damage to the first target you hit. In Fault, it does the same, however, it also applies a slow. The empowered version in both games would displace enemies by carrying them with you to your destination. Something interesting I've discovered in Fault is that the unempowered version will pass through and knock back small enemies, like uh, lane minions and white camp jungle minions. This gives Forward Crunch a little added utility as you could push minions out of your tower, knock them away from killing a teammate, or simply push the melee minions into the ranged minions for quick left crunch clear. Something else I found odd about Forward Crunch is that I couldn't change the cast type. I like to use instant cast for abilities like this, but there wasn't an option to switch it up, so I was just stuck confirming the ability. Recrunch, however, is instant cast, so you can Forward Crunch without confirming it if you recrunch it. This causes a bit of confusion though, as you may be looking to confirm when you actually don't have to. It's worth mentioning that Strange Matter included his full range of basic attack animations, and they look quite nice. They also added in some of the unreleased skins that Epic had planned for him, but they never implemented. Now for bugs! While I didn't experience this, some people have said that they encountered situations where they had no cooldown whatsoever on either left or right crunch. They could just spam them. This is obviously something that will need to be addressed ASAP and will probably be fixed by the time this video goes live. It is, of course, insane that you could just keep stunning and knocking someone up in an endless loop. Also had what I'm calling the Elden Ring bug. I wasn't able to consistently reproduce this, but sometimes when using left crunch, my fist would fly back as if I had swung a large sword in a small hallway and hit a wall. This was accompanied by the inability to use abilities or basic attack for about a half a second. I'm not entirely sure what caused this, but it happened enough that I took notice. The second thing I discovered is while his abilities proc most items that have ability on hit effects, Matter Limiter doesn't slow. Eldritch Flame applies the damage over time, Cursed Remnant applies trauma, but Mat Lim doesn't slow. This should proc on both heroes and minions, but it, it, it just doesn't. Also of note, for anyone who immediately thought of doing this like I did, you can't stack Stinger Boost effects. What I mean by that is, there are three items of fault that have an effect like Stinger Boost or OPD Militia had in Paragon, where your basic attacks are empowered with extra damage after you hit an ability. Two of these items, Biological Infuser and Stimulant Gauntlet, have a unique passive called Kill Claw that gives the effect. With them having a unique passive, I didn't expect those two to stack. However, Arcane Surge also boosts your basics after an ability, but in a different way. Sadly, if you buy Biological Infuser or Stim Gauntlet, the ability to buy Arcane Surge is removed, and vice versa. My overall thoughts on Crunch, just from dicking around in PvE, is that he's much squishier than I imagined. Crunch in Paragon was quite a bruiser which was necessitated by his rather large hitbox, but he gets burned down pretty easy in fall. His mana costs are rather low for his capabilities. I, I was fully expecting to be mana starved after using left crunch a few times to clear camps, but his abilities use a surprisingly small amount of mana, which is kinda nice. His gameplay is rather smooth, you can, you can effectively auto cancel into abilities, and his attack strings feel really satisfying to perform. Overall, this was a good implementation of crunch, they just have a few bugs to work out. 
I'm hoping that once they have him in tip-top shape, they'll do a free weekend with Crunch Unlock for everyone to help get more attention and up the player base for fall. I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments of anything interesting that you've discovered in Crunch. Like if you enjoyed, sub if you want more, but for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoos! Special shout out to channel members Foolish Blood Hunter, Jelly Knees Meow, Mix for Men, Stunt, Ferenth, and Raven.